Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Rodri Carlson Fieldhouse for CPM's live coverage of Girls High School Volleyball, a Northwest Suburban Conference matchup as the team at the bottom of the standings welcomes the team at the top. Joe Yund, Howie Shapiro, sideline for tonight's game and a monumental task ahead of the Cardinals tonight. Yeah, yeah you know, and they've got to be able to play, obviously, in, in this conference, but they've got to face some good teams night in and night out, but they're facing a phenomenal team. You, uh, you know Tampa Park is going to be uh, a little upset coming off a loss to Wyzetta. That's uh, Wyzetta, who's 18-0 and 0 so far this season, so the Cardinals definitely going to have their work cut out for them. I just want to make sure they give them a game, and the key is, as we always talk about, Keep the, try and keep the score as close as you can. Well, the Rebels uh, have four losses on the season, all to teams in the top five, twice to number one Wyzetta, once to number two Egan, yep. and they've split a couple of games against number five Lakeville North. Yeah, I think Currently got... ranked number three in the state. They have three hitters over 100 kills on the season, one over 200. Yeah, I think they started to open the season at Lakeville North. Lost in five. Lost in five, which is uh, must have been one heck of a match. Recently beat them just this past weekend, yep, I yep. think, is the tournament in which they beat them in straight sets. Yep. But, yes, on Tuesday night coming off a, a four-set loss, to number one, Wyzetta. They also lost to Wyzetta in a three-set tournament match earlier in the year. Yeah, Wyzetta's the class of, uh, of the volleyball, high school volleyball right now. Melissa Schmidt checking in early. Lily Reese heads to the service line for Champlin Park. And she fires long. JT uh, Taylor with a nice stop. He's got skill. He's, well, he does have skill. There's no question about that. Madeline Wilbur checks in, heads to the service line for the Cardinals. Nerves a little too high on both sides. A little too much energy going long on first, both first two serves. Gilk. Yeah. Hammers it to the back line. Yeah, she's awfully good. 200 kills on the season. Power left-hander. Yeah. She's six foot. Axness at the service line. Now up 2-1. Nesseth will pass it across for the Cardinals. Setup goes to Gilk right side this time, and she's long. Yeah, didn't miss two, it by two. didn't miss it by much, but just out. Serving for the Cardinals number twelve, Lydia Foster. Yeah, just watching her in warmups. If you didn't know anything about the team, just watching them in warm ups, you saw how clean her striking was yep. and how much power she brought. Absolutely. She will head to the service line now. And she serves up an ace. Well, like we said, keep it close. Just uh, we're looking at 4-2, but it's going to be easier said than done here tonight. Shevchuk attacking for the Cardinals. Gilk near the back line. Near side, Bolter on the attack. Wilbur picks it up. Nelson gets the kill off the arms of Gilk near the back line. Well, well that's what they need. They need that uh, ability up front to, to get those kills, and get the points that way. Now cut the lead to one and trailing 4-3. Ku serving for the Cardinals and serving long. Yeah, the one thing you can ill afford to do is give free points to Tampa Park. Yep. Make them earn it. Yeah. 
in the middle. Power from Lily Reese. She's in the 100 point club too. Yeah. 135 on the season according to the hub. It's impressive. Erickson with the serve. Shevchuk picks it up. Shevchuk waits on it and spun off the side of her hand, passed on the outside of the post. Jock plays it across. They set up near side for Bolter. Jack got a piece of it, but out of bounds. It'll be a kill for Bolter and an 8-3 lead for the Rebels. Yeah, Cardinals calling a timeout here down 8-3. And, and, and again, you you want to you want to play uh, you want to have a little strategy here too. So before the lead gets if if the lead gets a little more out of hand, they want to talk about things and settle everyone down. Yeah, a lot of height on the squad. Five girls listed at six foot or better. Yeah, that's Carly Gill at six foot two. Yeah, that's impressive. That's John Yonker, head coach for Champlain Park. You may take a lot of credit for what they do on the court. Can't take credit for the height. No, definitely not. Definitely can't not. Can't coach height. You can't coach height. Erickson will continue at the service line. Nesseth goes deep to get that one. Tatum Shepchuk on the attack, picked up by Axness. Gilk in the middle. Koo absorbed it best she could, but the Cardinals can't save it. Another kill for Gilk, yeah, the, the, and the lead continues. The velocity on that kill from Gilk, and again, not much she can do is that coming in quickly. Try and get a hand on it, see if you can uh, get it to your teammate. High pass for Jock, pokes it through the block attempt and ends the run. Yeah, those are things, little, little things that you do. Jersey Rob is going to check in for Coon Rapids. In the middle, another kill for Lily Reese. They make, they make it look easy. Five, Lily Holine, and of course, Lily, the daughter of Jamie Holine, who we've known for forever. And I told her, I said, it's uh, not only strange to see you have a you have a kid playing sports, but playing for Champlain Park. Jamie Holine, a longtime Coon Rapids yes. teacher, yep. former head softball coach, assistant volleyball and uh, girls basketball coach. Yeah, we go way back. It's hard to believe it's been eight, nine years since she was coaching the softball yeah. team, but thanks about amazing. A, a good run for <laughs> Coach Zach Neenaber, who opted out of the program yep. last out year. Attack long gives the Cardinals another chance with service. Sonia Nesset. Siding saved by Gilk. Bolter on the attack. Gets another kill. Gets that side out right back. And Bolter will report to the service line. Rob attacking, gets the kill. Yeah, that was a beautiful, beautiful kill from Rob. And again, you, you know, you have to avoid those long runs that Champlain Park is going to go on. And these are the, those are the important points and what gives you the service and an opportunity to get back into this down 12-6.
Another attack, another kill for Lily Reese. Yeah, the tough thing is that uh, that service doesn't last very long. And you give the point and the serve right back to the Rebels. Rob plays it across, whole line is there. Short set in the middle, just popped over by Hader Harrelson. Foster is blocked, Rob can't keep it up. Yeah, nice, nice block at the net for the Rebels. Helps again with your net play when you have six footers there. Several of them. Yeah. Service ace makes it 15-6. Shevchuk digs it out, set up for Nelson, stuffed with Nola Hader Harrelson right there along with Gilk. Another ace, 11 point lead. Oh, and get some help. Sometimes when things are just going your way, they, <laughs> they go continue your way. to go your way. Absolutely. Third ace of this service for Lily Reese. Another timeout for the Cardinals now trailing 18-6. Oh no, they just no. did a quick sub. High serve near the back line. Tipped over by Peplo. Gilk got there a little late. Nesseth passes it back over. Diving save by Holine. This time pushed to a part, part of the floor. They could not cover. Yeah, again, it's a nice play because you see that you see that big opening on that far side, and she put, placed it there perfectly. Nobody there for the Rebels to get a chance to get to the ball, and they get the point. Wilbur with serve. Picked up by Erickson. Gilk on the attack off the block of Nelson. Nelson coming back. Got the top of the tape. And the Rebels take it right back. Shevchuk back on the floor for the Cardinals. Also for the Rebels, number 12, Riley Walters. Inman checks in for Champlin Axis. Park. Reese Axness back at the service line, now up 19 7 here in the opening set. Attack and kill for Tatum Shevchuk. And again, that power from that far side, the left side, great job by Shevchuk to get the point. Cuts the lead to 19-8. Serving for the Cardinals, number 12, Lydia Foster. Foster to serve for the Cardinals. Picked up by Erickson. Gilk again. Just all, just ends it quickly. Pretty much automatic. We, we did see her miss one, but pretty uh, pretty much automatic. I'll give her the service. Yeah, and she and Reese have, have been their leaders already showing in this first set, both on the attack and at the service line. And as I say that, point proven, Carly Gilk picks up another ace. Between them, they have five, Yund officially. Of course. Some indecision, but that one was definitely long. Koo yeah. back in for the Cardinals. Jock as well. Yeah. 
Set up for Bolter. Wilbur picks it up. Mock a little late getting there, a little miscommunication perhaps on the part of the Cardinals. Number nine. Number nine. Who's Caitlin serving? Erickson. <laughs> Picked up by Shep Chuck. Jock on the attack, stuffed by a couple of Rebel defenders, played across. On the attack is Lily Reese. She gets another kill, just two points away from a win in set one. Yeah, have been dominant in set one. Have the Rebels, and you know we talked about it at the, at the opening. This is a really good club. Another solid net play. Reese picks up the block, and it'll be set point. Cardinals struggling to return. Jock plays it out of bounds, and that is the end of the first set. The Champo Park Rebels winners 25 to 9. We'll take a short break and be back with set number two. After this, you're watching high school volleyball on CTF. Number three ranked Champlain Park Rebels. Taking care of business relatively quickly in set number 125 to nine. A lot of power from their two big guns, Lily Reese and Carly Gilt, who combined in my book, seven or eight kills. There's so much power. Couple of blocks. Up front, yeah. I mean, you saw a block half a, there. Half a dozen aces. Yeah, yeah. Just awfully between good. between those two. Awfully good. Cardinal spread it around a little bit. Tried to get everybody going. Chef Chuck had one, Rob had one, Nelson, Jock. But uh, we talk about it all the time. It, the unforced errors yes. are absolutely critical, especially against a good team. And we saw the first, I think, Three services for Coon Rapids, one and done due to service yeah, error. You can't, three of the first four. Yeah, you can't do that against a, a team like this. I mean, it's it's, it's a big of a hole to dig out as it is against Champlain Park. That uh, again, you just don't want to give them points. But uh, it's a uh, it's definitely David versus Goliath. Well, and the Cardinals knew this coming in, and yep. they're a young program. This is what you look at and aspire to. Have to try and draw lessons in your losses. Well, yeah, it's it's a learning process. There's no question. New coach, new systems, and and um, it's something that's going to take take a little time. And 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 you're playing the best, or quite one, quite possibly one of the very best in the state. Yeah, and I mean, they've played the best in the state, and they've played them tight. You mentioned the, the loss to Wyzetta. Yep. I think they won the first set. Yeah. And then the 
the rest were all either high teens or low 20s. So, I mean, they kept them close uh, throughout the contest on Tuesday night. They also played them to a three-set loss in a tournament early in the year. I didn't really look over in detail all of their different wins in order to see who else they've played and beaten in the top 10. Except for Lakeville, Lakeville North, North, which is yeah. obviously a team they've both beaten and lost to. Rebels will start with service. Ava Bolter at the service line for Champlin Park. Rob attacking for the Cardinals and right into the middle of the floor. Yeah, I mean you look at you look at there. They said so they lost to Egan. They lost to Wyzetta a couple of times. And nice then the one lost to Lakeville North. But uh, most of their most of their matches are, are 3 0. Good portion of them. Service point rebel. Reese at the service line. We talked about she had three aces in her last service in the first set. Nelson attacking and splits the defense for a Cardinal kill. Oh, nice job there, Cardinals with the 2 1 lead. Wilbur serves for the Cardinals, picked up by Reese. Punched over. Adler in the middle. Set it up for Gilt. She hammers it through the block and gets the point. Axonis serves, picked up by Shev Chuck. Nelson across. Axonis is there. Gilk from midcourt gets herself another one. Yeah, she doesn't need to be right, right up next to the net to get those kills. So she's so very talented. Shev Chuck receives. Nelson attacking. Picked up by Bolter near the back line. Another kill for Carly Gilk. Yeah, and again, it was uh, more of a placement, too. She saw that little bit of opening on the court, and she didn't, didn't give it the power that she normally would, but she was able to put it right there for the point. Again, stay close. Or at least attempts to. And certainly if they can benefit from some Champlain Park mistakes. Yep. Foster serving for the Cardinals. Set goes in the middle to Adler. She's going to get a kill. And get the side out right back. Adler also has over 100 kills. 107 according to the hub coming into tonight's contest. So I guess make it 108. In the middle, Adler gets the kill. Yeah, that may have been going out, but it's tough to judge. And the ball's coming that fast. You got to make a split second decision. Gilk at the service line. And she'll get another ace. Makes it 7-3 in favor of Champlin. Nessler wisely lets it go, and it's well long. In the game, 
Talitha Koo Talitha checks Nibel in. Jock. She'll go to the service Two line. Nibel Jock checks in at the front. So as we as you talked about what happened in that first set, you know, happening there, where they where they get the point, and they get the service, and they get the uh, long serve to turn it right back over. Erickson serves, gives it right back. Jersey Rob back in for Coon Rapids. Reese racks up another one. In the game for the Rebels, number five, Lily Holmine. She went to work, made it nine to five. She did. Just ask Dolly. Lily Holine with the service. Into the net. The Trading points. Helps the Cardinals stay it, close. It does. I don't know for a while before it would really concern the Champlain Park Rebels. No. Come on, you see they're capable of doing that. Another kill for Reese. Come right back. They came right back and got the kill and get the serve. Long pass. So Ku with a nice play under yeah. the net. Keeps it alive. Reese hammered it into the net. Yeah, just a miss hit there by Reese. Gives the Cardinals the point. In the game for the Cardinals, number 15, Bella Nelson. And number two, Vivian Peplo. Peplo back to serve. Peplo and Nelson back on the floor. Here's another look at it. Good positioning by Jock and Foster, but hit right into the net. Peplo getting a little skip off the tape. Yeah, that cuts the lead in two. Home team bounce. They'll take it. Set so goes to Gilk. Gilk ends it quickly again. A little, little better second set for Coon Rapids than the first. They had nine points in that uh, in that first set. Already at eight. Reese has herself another ace. Followed by an error. In the game, the card was number four, Madeline Wilbur. Wilbur back to serve. But Junker, I'm sure, not, not happy with the, with the unforced errors. I mean, he's got to be obviously happy with the way the squad has played, but. Wilbur will Service give it right it. back. In the game, the Rebels number 11, Riley Inman. And number 12, Ava Bolter. Serving for the Rebels number three, Reese Axness. Axness to serve for Champlain Park. Up 13-9. Miscommunication as a couple of Cardinals went for the ball. 14-9. Tipped across by Shevchuk, kept alive. Adler toward the back line. Nice save off the basketball hoop. Cardinals will get it back over on a Shevchuk hit. Gilk oh. fires it to the floor. With authority.
Nelson attacking for the Cardinals. Bolter there for it near the back line. Gilk took a little something off. Nelson had it. Adler, strong play at the net. Keeps it on the Cardinals side and keeps the streak going for the Rebels. Right at the back line. Cardinals thought it was going long. Another ace for Reese Axness. And just a miss hit there. Timeout, Cardinals. Cardinals are going to call a timeout, trailing 18 9 here in set number two. Sports medicine provider for Coon Rapids High School. TCO is trusted by some of the biggest names in sports, and they bring that same level of care to our athletes, led by athletic trainer Jeremy Shepard. Thank you, TCO, for being part of our team. Well, and it's not easy for a team like Coon Rapids to not be intimidated. No, it's your home floor. No, you still have to stick with the game well, plan. Well, yeah, you have to. But uh, that's a pretty impressive team you're, on the far side. Yeah, you're just playing a really good program. Carly Gilk put her stamp on this game to be sure. Oh, yeah. No question. Axness back to the service lineup, 18 to 9. Sliding save by Nessa, punched over by. Dev Chuck in the middle, Adler gets it through the Foster block, gets herself another kill, and makes it a 10-point lead. Yeah, uh, the ball was uh, changed by the top of the net, and fortunately for the Rebels, it fell on the Cardinals side. Set up for Tatum, Chev Chuck, she gets the kill, gets the ball back for the Cardinals. Makes it 19-10. Oh, tough one. And those are those are the ones that you know, two inches higher, and it probably would have skipped over instead exactly. of come back over that tape. Oh, that just I, out. Of course, uh, two inches lower, and and that would have been in. So. You know, it goes both ways. Are you saying it's a game of inches? It, it is. I, I, well, most every game it could be if you really look at it. Gilk from midcourt fires on. Cardinals trailing by eight. Bolter on the attack, she gets the kill. Serving for the Rebels, number nine, Caitlin Erickson. You know who's serving? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Caitlin Erickson. That's for you, Joel. Wilbur near the back line. Jock on the attack, probably going out, but Gilt keeps it up. Bolter can't get past the block. They'll reset to Reese in the middle, and she'll finish the job and make it a 22-12 to 12 lead. Again, they do such a nice job of setting. And with that kind of size and power, that's why they've, they've won 13 contests. Tipped over by Koo. Rebels ready for it. Kill for Nola Hader Harrelson.
point for the Rebels. Well, the Rebels, one, excuse me, one point away from capturing set number two. Cardinals just not able to pass that one effectively off the serve receive. And now Erickson, an opportunity with set point. Pushed over by Shevchuk. They set it up for Bolter. Got it off the block. Wilbur able to save it. Shevchuk attacking into the net. And the Rebels will make it a 2-0 lead with the 25-12 win here in set number two. We'll take another break. Be back for the third after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTN. All right, Howie, take a look. Our opponents are on this side, and the Cardinals are over here. Where's the line of scrimmage? Uh, right here. Good. So obviously the Cards want to get the ball downfield anywhere over here, and the other guys are pushing back this way over here. So one strategy would take... Hey, Joe! What? Tic-tac-toe, I win! <sighs> Impressive. <laughs> Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Howie, do you know why fish are so bad at volleyball? Because they're afraid of the net. Why me? Why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road? There were too many bumps. <laughs> uh. Why was Cinderella kicked off the team? Because she ran away from the ball. I hate you. It's Fieldhouse Cardinals. Trailing two sets to none. It was not 25 all in the and third that, set. And not 45 nothing. <laughs> but uh, a few more unforced errors on the side of the Rebels in that second set. Allowed the Cardinals to hang around for a while. They had some good attacks, found some holes in the defense. Uh, spread the ball around again, but Reese and Gilk throw, throw in a little dash of Adler and Bolter, and that's uh, just too much. Well, Cardinals able to get a few more points in set number two than they did in the opening one, but uh, you know, we'll see we'll see what happens here now. Champlain Park knows they're just a set away from making it a, a relatively early evening. Rebels looking to push their record to 14 and four. And when you're sitting atop the conference, there are no small wins. No, absolutely not. Serving for the Cardinals number two, Vivian Peplo. Vivian Peplo will start for the serve for the Cardinals. Gilk hammers it through the block and starts Champlain Park out 1-0. In the game for the Rebels, number one, Melissa Schmidt. Yeah, you can see how active she is up front. Reese serving. Picked up by Rob. Nelson on the attack. Therefore, it was Heslin. Attack is good for Reese Asksness.
Couple of quick points for the Rebels. Long pass back. Axness attacking, Nesseth is there. Nelson on the attack for the Cardinals. Rebels in close to the net, got caught up on each other and the ball falls to the floor. Yeah, sometimes that happens and Cardinals cut it to two to one. Madeline Wilbur to serve. Into the net, back to the yeah, Rebels Rebel side, and Reese Axness will go to the service line. Attacking is oh, oh, great, great finish. For Bella Nelson. Yeah, it was a tough dig and gave her a perfect opportunity for a kill. Well, Shevchuk's attack was solid and yep. not a lot that the Rebels could do, just diving to make the save, and this one comes right up to where Nelson can put it away. And then you, uh, uh, we've seen too many times pushing that serve into the net for the Cardinals. And that'll put Carly Gilk back at the service line. And the Cardinals will not be able to return it. Gilk's been strong at the service line. We've talked about that all night as well. Good pass from Nesseth. The attack by Nelson and Gilk kicking herself a little bit. Should it let it go? Because it was going let it go. It was probably going long. And she knew it as soon as she touched it. I think it was touched up near the net anyhow. So still would have been a point. Bolter will pass this one across. Jock is there. Set in the middle. Ashworth on the attack. Turn to Bolter. Well, she hammers it off of Koo. She did and hammer gets it. the kill. At the service line, Caitlin Erickson. You know what number she wears? She's wearing number nine. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Picked up by Wilbur, <laughs> Jock on the attack. Bolter off the top of the block. Cardinals set it up for Nybel Jock. She's blocked. Ku is there to pick it up. Shevchuk is stuffed by Lily Reese. That was a nice volley and a, and a nice a nice point there. Both Lily Reese and Carly Gilk have come up with blocks in the game as well. Shevchuk put it right at Lucy Howe and wasn't a lot she could do with it. Got it in up above the elbows. That's a, that's a couple of times uh, tonight that Tampa Park players have run into each other attempting to get to the ball. Bolter attacking. This went off a couple of caroms. <laughs> Kuz. I thought maybe we were going to stick on that top of that speaker. It went up there. It hit a, it hit a uh, beam and then a speaker rolled on top of the speaker back off the other way. That was fun. Yes, it was. Would have been more fun had the Cardinals somehow been able to get underneath it and pass it across. Strong play again at the net by Reese. No chance for Jock to get that one through. So 
service by Heslin. Set up for Rob. She gets the kill. Uh, again, Rob with some power from that side. Serving for the Cardinals over 16, Sonia Nesseth. Nesseth to the service line for Coon Rapids. And she will get the ace. Nice ace there, cuts the lead to three. Set in the middle, and oh. Reese with the finish. Brian Troush just uh, sent me a text, and the text read number nine. I think that was for Joel, number nine. Number nine. Was that for Joel? Oh, now Joel thinks it's a conspiracy. Foster able to pass it across, but out of bounds. Ace for Ava Bolter. That makes it 12 6. Rob had to lean way out for that one, went a little wide. Bolter will continue to serve. Put that one into the net and back to the Cardinals side. I will say this, we've been around this game a long time. We have. We've been at this a long time. Yes, we we go back to before rally scoring. Right. And the games were only to 15, but service errors, no one got a point. You only scored when you had service which meant games could go a long time. Reese with another kill. And then Reese will report to the service line. That one's out. Sent it long. In the game for the Cardinals, number four, Madeline Wilbur. Wilbur back to serve. Wilbur's service is wide. Service error, point problems. And again, another service error for the Cardinals, whether it's in the net or it's wide or long, and too many. Especially when it's the first, and that's been, you know, if it's your fourth or fifth serve, okay, but they're struggling to get that first serve in. Attack is long for Inman. So, so Brian Trouch just told me he's watching from Germany. So we've got oh, we've got international viewers expanding our he's our viewership. Well, well, he's tried to form a branch of the Joe Young Fan Club in uh, Munich. Set in the middle, it was a little behind, and Out of Adler sends it just wide. Well, that cuts the lead to ten, to, to five, fifteen, ten. Another one sent long. Yep. And Carly Gill hit the service line. And she has the service here. Yeah, I think that's the only negative part of the Rebels game is too many unforced errors. Not many, but the unforced errors they're committing probably the negative part of, of this uh, match so far for them. 
Oh, I'm, I'm sure that the Coach Yarker would like to see a much cleaner game yeah. in that respect because against some of the higher-level opponents, it's not so easily overcome. No, no, definitely not. Cardinals give the point right back, and now it's Erickson at the service line, up 17-11 to 11 here in set number three. The Rebels trying to sweep it up. Cardinals trying to stay alive and play at least four. Attack from Shevchuk. Here comes Bolter. She plays it into the net. Again, the lead is just five at this point. And this will be an opportunity for the Cardinals to see what they can do about with the service. Gilk near the back line. Decides to play it. Rebels send it back around the post. Cardinals chiseling away at the lead. Tink, tink, tink. That's how they made my yearbook. Attack from Reese ends the little run, though. Back to a five-point edge for Champlin Park. Heslin will check in and go to the service line. Set for Jock, got it off the block. Erickson picks it up, set in the middle. Reese, good save, but right back over where Rebels reset to Bolter. Blocked by Jock. Bolter able to keep it up and get it back over. Jock on the attack, Gilk is there. Gilk from center court, and it's over. Point Rebels. Yeah, again, just a lot of lot of power in that. Ku tips it over. Rebels set it up for Reese. Didn't get much on it. Cardinals for Jock, got it off the block. Erickson saves, Gilk from the middle of the court again. Koo passes it right back across. Set goes to Bolter, left side, pops it over the block. Therefore it is Koo. Nesseth for Rob, just pushed it over. Gilk is there in the middle, Lily Reese. Shevchuk sent it back over, but just wide of the line. And it wasn't wide by more than two it, or three it, inches. It certainly wasn't. Good job of the Cardinals trying to rally there during a volley that saw several strong attacks from the Rebels. Diving saved by Rob on the serve. But the Cardinals not able to get it back over the net. Heslin serving now up by eight. Four points away from a three set victory. And an ace. As the Rebels creep ever closer. Timeout, Coon Rapids. Now Cardinals uh, looking at a, an up uh, here, staring at a three set sweep, uh, just three points away for the Rebels to, uh, to win this one, take it home. Good thing the Cardinals have increased their point. They have. Total in each of the three sets. They have, you gotta take, you gotta take the positives out. And go and he, from there. And they had they had some strong attacks from several different players. And some strong defensive plays too, but not enough to keep up with the mighty rebels. It's not a game at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse without our number one fan Reds in the house. Rodriguez breaks the huddle. Gets her team back on the floor and hoping to end the streak, get the extend at least this set as long as they can. Instead, another set or another uh, ace rather for Lauren Heslin. Nesseth 
Sends it right back over. Champlin sets up for Reese in the middle. Koo is there, but sends it to row H. That's row H for hotel. Ah. I think it, no, it was seat number nine. Seat nine. Row H, seat row nine. H. <laughs> that one sent right back over. This is match point. Bolter pushes it over, but wide. Cardinals still have life. They're alive. They're alive. Serving for the Cardinals number 16, Sonia Nesseth. Sonia Nesseth. Not a lot of pressure. Just needed uh, 10 unanswered points. Instead, it served wide, and the service error will be the end for the Cardinals. They will lose 25-9, 12, and 14. Yeah, tough one. And we knew coming in this was going to be a, a difficult one, but the fact that you, you touched on they increased their points from 1 to 2 to 3 in, in those sets uh, for the Cardinals, they can take that out, but they knew coming in this was going to be a tough one, and, and Champlain Park uh, will continue their winning ways, move their record to 14-4. and four. I believe that drops the Cardinals to 2 and 11. Believe you are correct. Big football game coming up on Friday night as the Cardinals host the Anoka Tornadoes. It's Hall of Fame night, and they are celebrating the 1983 state championship team. That'll be fun. I get and to see my buddy Coos. Anoka just ahead of the Cardinals in the standings. It should be a great contest. Next week, we got soccer, soccer double headers both Monday and Wednesday against Park Center on Monday and Champlain Park on Wednesday. That's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.